Professor Mark Dodge and today's video is going to be about how to top, turn on a uh, Prototrack SLX lathe. Your first step is going to be to turn on the circuit breaker in the back of the machine. The next step will be to turn on the switch at the end of the control box. You come around to the front of the machine and on the side of the, the uh, actual control is a small toggle switch which will turn on now. Okay, once the machine is, gets to this screen, it takes a minute or so for it to boot up. You'll follow a series of steps in order to get the machine up and running. That's what today's lesson is about. So if you look at this series of soft keys here, you'll see that uh, only one is available. It says check system. We're gonna go over to the mode and we're gonna change our screen here and the soft buttons will change. So if I select uh, my setup, I'm going to do a couple of things first. I'm gonna take a look at my tool table. I'm gonna see that that tool table is blank. That's a worthwhile step in starting this machine because especially here at the college because perhaps somebody last night uh, left some tools and some information in here. If there's information left over from the previous user it's going to make it difficult for you to set up your machine properly. So we'll go through this step and we'll erase the table even though it's blank now. We'll say yes and so now we'll return and we'll go and set up our reference position. Our reference position on this machine is two numbers, one in the x-axis and the other one is in the z-axis. When I put a value in, if I say, for example, six inches in x and six inches in z, I'm telling the machine that the reference position for that tool is at a diameter of six inches and a Z value of six inches as well. So that means it's going to go to this reference position. It's going to be a tool change position. It's going to be where the machining of the part uh, starts for each operation. If you have one tool, it's going to retract to that start position. And when it's done, it comes, comes back to it. So it starts machining from there and goes back to that for each part. So setting the reference position is very important. So when you do that, you notice that it's an absolute. That's the only choice. You, you enter six inches and then set it with the absolute key. In Z, you set it with the, you enter six inches and set it with the absolute key. These limits, the X limit, and Z limit here, you will almost never use. So you will want to be done with that and you can return to this screen. So we've set the reference position. You'll do that every time you set up the machine. So now we have a couple of more steps to do. We go to mode and we go to DRO and now we look at maximum RPM. So maximum RPM is something we have a couple of choices here. If we send the, the maximum spindle RPM, that's going to vary with each job that you do. If, for example, if I have a chuck on there, I may want to limit my maximum RPM. The, the most this machine will go is 2500 RPM. And with a collet on there, if I'm doing a relatively small part, I may have it set to 2,500 RPM. So if I enter 2,500 and I say absolute set, that is my maximum RPM. I can check on that, enter the maximum spindle RPM, it's 2,500. So I'll, I've got that set. And now I should be ready to write a program, make the machine go. I can enter a program if one already exists. 
I'm like, the machine is ready to go. So a couple of things by way of reviewing. I went through a sequence of events that you will follow every time you start the machine. You'll turn on the circuit breaker, you'll hit the switch on the end of the control box, you'll hit this toggle switch that's on the back of this control, and then you'll go through those steps every time you start the machine.